is Jeremy. I'm your local grill guy over here at Backcountry and Beyond. Uh, it's Wednesday, which means it's time for another grill tip. Uh, today, I want to talk to you a little bit about Traeger pellets. I want to tell you why Traeger makes the best pellets, and we're going to give you a brief tour of the different selections that they have, um, what types of woods they have, you know, the different flavors, all that. So, first off, quality. It's all about quality. Um, there are other manufacturers out there that source their wood from old flooring, cabinetry. They use additives and binders to, to make the wood stick together to form their pellets. Uh, Traeger doesn't do that. Not only is Traeger the only pellet grill brand in the entire industry that owns all of their own pellet mills, but they also have a patented process that they use to form their pellets. There are no binders, there are no additives. It's all 100% hardwood. And not just hardwood, it's virgin hardwood. It's the good stuff. It's fresh, there's no bark in there, so you're gonna get a cleaner burn, more efficient burn, it's gonna produce less ash, and it's gonna be better flavor. Um, so that pretty much covers it as far as the quality of the pellets. Traeger is top notch, they have the best pellets out there. I'm not gonna name any names, but I will tell you, I've tried about four different brands of pellets myself. And I've gone back to the Traeger pellets every single time. Um, it's always the best, most consistent burn, and the flavor is just there. So aside from that, let's get into the different offerings that they have. They've got, these are your milder woods here to start off with. Apple, cherry, alder, oak, and maple. These are going to give you a lighter flavor. If you know somebody who doesn't like a whole lot of heavy wood smoke flavor, any of these would make a great option. Um, the apple is gonna have a light, slightly fruity flavor to it. Um, it's gonna work really well with pork, chicken, veggies, breads. Um, the alder, it's gonna have kind of a lighter, more delicate flavor. It's a really light flavor. It works really well with pretty much anything, beef, chicken, fish, pork, veggies, breads, whatever you want. Um, you've got your cherry, which has kind of a subtly sweet, little bit fruity flavor. Um, that's gonna work really well with beef, chicken, pork. Um, and one thing to note, you can use any of these pellets with, you can cook anything you want with them. You know, there really are no rules to it. This is just kind of a guideline to give you an idea if you're unsure. Uh, so moving on from there, you've got your oak pellets. Those are gonna be great for beef, fish, breads. Uh, the oak is kind of a mild nutty flavor to it and then of course maple um, I really like maple a lot. It's kind of a mildly sweet flavor. It works really good with uh, beef veggies pork um, And it smells good when it burns it has that sweet mild, you know smell to it um, So that's it for your lighter woods your more mild flavors and then moving on to your heavier flavor woods my personal favorite hickory I love hickory. I personally use it on just about anything. Um, it works especially well with beef, chicken, pork, veggies. Again, I use it on whatever. I mean, I just love the taste of hickory, the smell, everything about it. Um, and then you've got, of course, pecan and mesquite. Those are probably your strongest flavors out there. Those are probably the two strongest woods that you can cook with. Mesquite just has a straight up strong wood flavor to it. It works really well with beef, chicken, and fish. Uh, the pecan has that strong wood flavor, but it's more of like a kind of an assertively sweet and spicy flavor. And it works really good with beef, chicken, pork, veggies. Um, so that's your heavier wood flavors. You know, if you're like me and you like a lot of wood flavor in your food, any of these three will definitely do the trick. Um, another cool thing with Traeger is their specialty blends of pellets. So you can get blends that have multiple different types of wood mixed up together in them. Uh, you've got your signature blend, your summer shandy, your winemakers, your big game, um, and what did I miss? Texas beef. Don't forget Texas beef. Um, so starting off with the signature, this is another personal favorite of mine. I use Signature on a lot of different things. It's got hickory, cherry, and maple in it. It's a very versatile blend, and it literally works great on everything. I can't think of anything that the Signature would not be great on. Um, and then you've got your Summer Shandy. 
you know, it's springtime now, summer's right around the corner, the weather's warming up, it's time to do some more drilling. Um, this blend here is going to have alder, maple, um, and it's got a hint of citrus in there, which lends really well to chicken and fish, especially. Um, I would probably even use this on pork, you know, depending on what kind of recipe I'm doing, but chicken and fish, this is like the go-to for those two items. It's fantastic. Uh, the winemaker's blend, another personal favorite of mine. Uh, the winemaker's blend has oak, hickory, alder, and applewood in it. And again, this is one of those blends that works on anything and everything. You can cook whatever you want with this stuff. It's going to come out awesome. It's not going to be too heavy and overpower your food. So even if you're doing, you know, lighter meats like chicken or fish, it works great. Uh, All right. So next on the list is your Texas beef blend. It's got some of those signature Texas flavors in it. We know everybody in Texas loves their mesquite and pecan wood. It's got both of those. You got oak, mesquite, pecan. It's gonna give you a nice, heavy, smoky flavor. And in case you haven't guessed it, it goes great on beef. Um, and then last, but certainly not least, is your big game blend. I know a lot of you guys around here are cooking up some big game. Um, the big game blend is awesome. It's really robust flavor. Uh, it's got some hickory, some red oak, some white oak, and it has rosemary in it, which goes really, really well with any kind of big game um, and obviously it lends well to big game flavors so like your deer elk bison you name it whatever it's awesome it's really good stuff I actually like to use it on steaks too um, I find that rosemary goes really good with steaks and the wood combination that's in the big game I think it goes great with steaks uh, so that's pretty much it Traeger pellets Traeger pellets they've got the best quality pellets they oversee the production of their own pellets start to finish in their own U.S. mills owned by them. Um, they've got plenty to choose from, anything and everything, whatever you want to cook, there is a pellet that's going to go perfectly with it. Um, so that's pretty much it for today's tip. Uh, as always, don't forget, we're going to be cooking out on Saturday every single weekend, rain or shine, we cook out. Food samples come off the grill at noon. And don't forget to check us out on YouTube, social media, Facebook, Instagram. We'll have all the tags at the end of the video, as always. And most importantly, just thanks for watching. We really do appreciate you guys. Hope you have a good week, and we'll see you next week.